Good morning, happy Monday. This is Dan with A1 Carpet Care and uh, just getting ready for the day here, prepping the vans. We're gonna be running three vans today, not for the entire day, but uh, normally just two, but today we got uh, the third one, one of the third ones we're rolling into cycle here. I'm gonna be taking the minivan out to do a repair job first thing this morning and uh, show you guys some of the bo permanent bonded inserts, AKA patches we're gonna do. And then later on this afternoon, I'm hoping that me and Angela can actually make our way down to Jacksonville, South Side, Jacksonville, Florida, about an hour away and do a stretch and clean job. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so below and stay All tuned. All right, here we are this morning, getting ready for the day. We've got the whole team here. We got Lyndon. Hello. We got Cole. Yo. Sunny Time Taylor. Hey, hey, hey. And Espen. And of course the boss, Angela, prepping our day. We got six jobs on the books today and two estimates, M-I-N-T, mints. Uh, first job, here we are, and uh, we've got three rooms and a hallway. And the job, we thought we were gonna have to do some bonded inserts, but they actually replaced the room that had these. So that's brand new carpet, which is really smart. It's what I recommended initially. And so now all we're gonna be doing is these Two rooms, the living room, the bedroom, the hallway, and then this back porch. And we've got Lyndon and Espen there going to do it. Hello. We've got a small little hole over here and looks like some slime or gum or something right there. Anyway, this shouldn't take too long. Um, Lyndon's going to take some pictures of it when they get done and uh, I'll put them in this video to show you guys. Happy Monday, here we are at this job now down in Jacksonville, Florida, an hour away, but we finally arrived and it's a big one, it's a doozy. I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys we what got we got. the dining room here and you can see quite a few spots, um, nothing crazy bad. Doesn't smell too bad, but you can definitely tell there's some pet. And then there you can see some wrinkles um, in the carpet. We're gonna need to stretch that hallway there. We're gonna be doing that part first. Um, this room's not too bad in terms of spots or stretching. Obviously, there's a little bit of spots over there. Um, nothing too crazy in here. You start to see a little bit more of those wrinkles. We're going to stretch this room. And then here, you see some big wrinkles. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but a big wrinkle there. Um, again, I think there's three bedrooms, a living room, a dining room, and hallways. This room's pretty wrinkly as well and pretty warm. Nice, good wear pattern where the bed was. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get started after we stretch. Um, all right, so what we've done here is we actually have the power stretcher going all the way to this point. I'm gonna be pushing on that, pulling from that angle all the way up through into here. And once we do that, we'll go ahead and move it over and pull it from the other angle. All right, that's good then. So now you can see we pulled all those wrinkles out of the hallway and that's nice and tight. So we're gonna reinstall, trim it up and um, get this. All right, thing. stretching's all done. Check this pile out. Anytime you do a stretching, that means you've done a pretty good job. Okay, so we're putting our tools back away. You can probably hear Angela's vacuum. Um, but let me flip this around and show you guys all the wrinkles are gone. Remember the wrinkly hallway, those are all gone now looks great we ended up having to stretch um, this room as well and obviously into here they had a bunch of wrinkles in this room also and then the hallway here was really bad you can still see some of the lines where the wrinkles were um, because of memory of the face yarn that has memory but when we heat it up with the uh, hot water extraction that'll relax and be just fine there's Angela vacuuming with the workhorse Step commercial vacuuming. I better 
quit goofing off and actually help her now. Um, so we vacuum every job with two different vacuums, protein and the workhorse. Uh, the protein is still out in the van. Let me show you guys real quick. You can see out the window here. Uh, first approach, I got in trouble for parking in the fire lane. So now we're parked in the handicap. Well, not really in the handicap, but near it. So I'm trying to get in and out of here, knock this out. Um, the removal of dry soil with a vacuum, commercial vacuum, is probably one of the most important steps. The vast majority of all the soil in a carpet is actually dry soil. So of course the easiest and most effective way to remove it is with commercial vacuuming. So we always run two vacuums every job and usually two people almost every time uh, to get all that dry soil out. The next step in our cleaning process is always the application of a soap-free detergent or preconditioner. And here we are using an inline sprayer to apply um, and that solution line behind the sprayer is actually really hot water coming from our truck mounted machine and it's being diluted with the concentration of the solution inside of the jug at a dilution ratio of four to one and uh, this application loosens up the soils and makes it ready to agitate and extract. The next step in our cleaning process is the agitation of the preconditioner into the face yarn, but unfortunately we forgot our counter rotating brush machine or CRB. So as you can see, we're using this machine. See the brushes there spin around. It's a rotary extractor called the Rotovac 360i. That's my vegan lunch. And there's Angela. It just goes back and forth and it agitates and extracts at the same time. Pink lockbox and the fun job of rolling up all the hoses. Just finished up um, eating the rest of my vegan lunch. We're heading to Chick-fil-A to get a non-vegan milkshake for Angela. Turned out really, really good. We forgot uh, two things. One, CRB to agitate the fiber and a grooming rake in order to get the swirlies out. Other than that, turned out really, really good. We were here about two hours and we're off to get a milkshake. Thanks for watching. so much for watching guys we really appreciate the support uh, don't forget to tune in again tomorrow for some more cleaning adventures and subscribe below if you haven't already